Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here in Charmed Ridge, where uh, I've been trying to figure out this flower puzzle. Sorry about that. It's just that kind of day. Oh, there's a frog down there. Let's help out our little buddy. Hooray! Okay, am I missing anything? Can I jump up to this window here? No. Can I jump onto that? Yeah, no. Okay, I can, but I can't not stand on it, so let's be very careful there. Yeah, sure, I can't jump off of that. You know, I could have just glided over. Before we head back over there, let's just do this. Ow. My poor nose! Nice! Okay, just checking. If you get stuck, we can always restart this section. Okay, best of luck. The easier thinking puzzles are too tough for me. I prefer action gameplay. <laughs> oh boy. No whites in his eyes, and he's uh, aware of the fourth wall. This Jack is a much more interesting fellow than I originally gave him credit for. How do you get into that tower? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen either! Can't be that simple, can it? No, no, I can't make it on top of the hill from here, er, the wall from there. Ugh! But maybe from there. And then I'll just put this one over here because it looks pretty. Oh, you bastards. Hmm. 
Well, would you look at that? I thought those plants were put there to make it impossible to land on, but here I am! Oh. At last! I found the legendary Golden Goose! You can have another one of its eggs as a souvenir! Welcome to the world, Chuck. I like that. He just wanted to find the golden goose. That's the ugliest goose I've ever seen. Oh dear. That's the ugliest goose I've ever seen. Looks about average to me. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen a yellow goose in person. Oh! Would you look at that? Neat! But yes, it was nice to help that guy. Yes, it is Ridge, when well, not Ridges. Oh, hey. Oops. I'll just go ahead and put that back. Up it goes. That was nice. I mean, it was basically reusing puzzle mechanics from uh, elsewhere. But, you know... Which one was the impossible tower? I don't remember what the impossible tower was. You fucking missed, buddy! Can I just... Get in there. Oh, hey, look at that. It just makes a staircase and he's dead. Boy, that sure looks dangerous. It's a good thing it's somebody else's problem now. Huh. Um. Oh, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were. Maybe Spyro really isn't that far off from being a baby dragon. Happy birthday, Benjamin! I like your color. It's a very pleasing toothpaste green. Alright, what do you want me to do with this before I, you know, actually trigger that? while there's a time limit going. Let's see. Can I jump back up here? I don't know, so I'll just look around. Bunch of dudes I could incinerate. Oh, fuck! It's him! I need to kill him with that! Take out the guy with the stupid chest piece. Or, hang on. I didn't even see these here. Oh! Ah! Uh, I do love the crazy paths those take. is no longer alive. That's not cool. How about now? Are you dead now? No. Who's doing that then? You! Over there! <coughs> Excuse me. That kind of snuck up on me. Uh -oh. 
I can't actually tell if that hurt me or not. Did I find another frog? Shallow jumps, shallow jumps. No, too shallow. Fuck. Eh. Thank you. I am truly the master of physics. Yeah, right. Let me guess. Yeah, that was the egg in the cave. Just imagine how weird it would be if we came across one of these eggs and the dragon was named Burning Dog Face. Right in the face! Oh, well, that's nice. I don't know how I'm supposed to use that as a bridge now. Mind you, I never figured out how to get up there. Uh... The balcony! Ooh, they are good, aren't they? No, you don't. Come to think of it, the water here is awfully glowy. I'm gonna write that off as a side effect of all this magic. Come to think of it, this region kinda looks like the area with all those mages that were at war in, uh... Is that the first game or the second game? I think it might have been the first one. Yeah, I can make it to that, certainly. Oh! Going at it from that direction instead of from that direction. Huh. Uh. I didn't think that would actually work because this is a curved surface, to be honest. Happy birthday, Mo! Get zoom tight. Three seconds old, and he's already been blessed. <laughs> okay, now I need to check down here. No, no, it just it does it. Wait. Oh no, that was just a hill, not the top of an egg. Yeah, I kind of thought I was supposed to get up there. And then the reason the thing was still glowing was because I could use it to ride across to the other side. But then it just turned out there was another guy uh, controlling it than the one I thought. How am I doing? Very well. Cat, Witch, Chaos. Oh, as Sergeant Bird. That's right, that, uh, that cage we saw. How did we get there? We didn't. It was way off in the distance. I guess the question is, where did we see it? Ow. Oh, where I hear that happens to a lot of guys. <laughs> oh dear. You see, it's funny because he fired his fireball off prematurely. Brother and I would always do that, the explain the joke joke. What the hell was that? I thought I was the only one who could say no to uh, the basic rules of reality and actually have it work once in a while. Alrighty. 
I think I see how to get there. Oh, fuck. I forgot that guy was, was one of those guys. Oh, no, you don't. I am not going down below blue. There we are. Death! Fuck yeah! I don't know that I mentioned it yet. Uh, this move. The ability to roll to the left and right. Uh, it actually wasn't in the original version of uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon. Or, for that matter, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. It was only ever available in Spyro the Dragon. Oh. Mystery bottle. Nice. Nice. Well, that could be any fucking where. Shit. Uh, but yes, uh... The reason they took that move out of the sequels was, to be very, very frank, uh, they didn't need it. In the original Spyro the Dragon, it was almost always easier to dodge something simply by jumping, or, you know, charging out of the way, with the single exception of those fucking sheepdogs. Who just pounce direct, like, up in the air and then directly down on top of you when, uh, you approach them. And, uh... Yeah, that's what, you know, they... they, they, they they designed the move, they came up with a thing to use it against, so the idea is you walk up until just as they jump to the air, and then you dodge to the side so they miss and burn them. But that's one enemy. And, uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but those sheepdogs only appear in one level of the original game. The, uh... The first boss level with, uh, Scorch. The, uh... The sheep disguised as a, uh, scarecrow. This is Jimmy. Good day, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, <clears throat> an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, uh, just a friend, you understand. Strictly platonic relationship. Uh, certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. Uh, but what are you giving me that look for? The fact that Spyro is always kind of smiling makes this even better. Just, uh-huh. <laughs> Why, Sergeant Bird? I had no idea. Also, I'm pretty sure it's not a violation of military protocol unless you are in the same unit. Actually, there might be an issue if she's a commanding officer, but, uh... <laughs> and he just fucks off. You can do it and you know it, says my laws in Drapper. Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless <laughs> you want to battle the witches. I do like that she explicitly calls it a date. I also like her hair. All right, which battle? Oh, this is just a big arena. Cat witch chaos, I guess. And they're in a bad mood because someone just made off of the crown prince. The most desirable bachelor in all of Felinia. Uh, he can't do the rolly move, which was, which makes sense, since he couldn't do it in the first one. Just missile salvos. So, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because oh. there are still a lot more witches in the temple. 
Hmm, there's scratches on the back of the helmet. I wonder if uh, the number 12 has any significance, given that it's an X and two lines. All right, all right, witch genocide, just for you, sweetie. close enough for these to lock on. Oh, right, that's not how that works. Impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turn the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, do be careful, okay? Okay. Oh, boy, I remember this stuff. I think in the last game it had electricity arcing through it. I wasn't actually sure if they had an attack or not until I saw that one flying at me with glowing hands. Dang it! Come on, come on, the timer has gone. I need to finish this up. Ooh, and into the goo with you. Oh. I wonder. No, 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 I can't go out. There is a barrier. Did I do that? Yes, I did do that. Okay. Just as long as I'm clear. Uh oh. You did it, James. Oh, I knew you weren't the leader of the hummingbird resistance movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Ooh, a present. <laughs> Happy birthday, Abby. Don't worry, you'll get that tail eventually. So are all the fairies sisters or something, or do they just have the same tailor and hairdresser? <laughs> Flawless victory! Well. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, I think Isabel and... James here needs some privacy, so I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. Later!